You've got cruise questions and we have the answers. Coming up on Talking Cruise. Hi, I'm Chris Cardona. I love to answer people's questions about cruising and I invite you to post questions for any of our videos. Check out the Q&A section at TalkingCruise.com where you can post questions at any time. We'll pick some of the best questions every week and I'll answer them on a future show. Many people do not realize that hurricane season officially starts June 1st and runs through November 30th. Avoiding cruising for six months would seem like an eternity for diehard cruisers. You may also think that prices are lower during this time when in fact rates for the Caribbean during the peak summer months of June, July and August are some of the highest. Statistically, the most active months for hurricanes are September and October when the water temperatures are at their highest. While we do see a substantial reduction in cruise pricing in September and October compared to the summer months, that is largely due to the fact that demand is lower once children go back to school and less holiday time is generally taken. It is important to understand that cruise lines watch the weather very carefully. When hurricanes are forecasted, special teams go into action to properly track, identify areas of concern for ships and guests, and effectively communicate to the public when itinerary changes or cancellations are necessary. Luckily, there tends not to be widespread lingering effects from hurricanes on normal cruise operations, outside of altering itineraries or changing the order of the ports to visit and outright cancellations are usually the result of prolonged port closures or last minute changes in a storm's path. It is extremely important whenever you cruise, but especially during hurricane season, to make sure the cruise line has your correct contact information. This includes phone numbers, emails, and a mobile for receiving text alerts. You should also keep a watch on the cruise line's official website. Lastly, always purchase travel insurance either through your cruise line or independently. Thanks for watching. We'll be back next week with more answers to your cruise questions. Don't forget to like this video, post your comments and questions, and subscribe for more Talking Cruise.